Welcome back to our beautiful channel where we have a very large fan base of about six people. And uh, what I did is I made a post uh, saying that I'm kind of out of ideas for new tutorials and if you could suggest me some. So some of you said to make a multiplayer game and a multiplayer game is not very beginner friendly, which is mainly what I make videos for. And some of you said to make a GTA 5, which is made for from 2000 people which is just a, a big dream and uh, this guy says multiple laps well i've done this video a very long time ago i can do it again if you want me to just uh, comment down below and some of you said actually one of you said to make a low poly but decent game so that's actually what we're going to do today i made i made a fresh new project here in unity and what we'll do is actually work a little bit smarter this time. Instead of just going and writing code from scratch, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Asset Store and search for some templates. So what I found is a very nice template in here from this studio right here. So we're just going to open this up on Unity and then I'm just going to download it. Then what we're going to do is we are going to actually need some terrain to work on with. And since we have the template, what we're going to do is go ahead and search for some low poly terrains. And I came across this one, which actually looks decent. And I came across this one, which is just using too many objects. So I think this is not ideal. So I'm just going to go with this one, add into my asset. And then later I'll just download it and I'll be right back. Okay, after clicking yes a couple of hundred times, I managed to get this project working here in my scene and I'm currently using the version of Unity 2022.2.0A9. So this is the current version. It's on alpha. It's not even in release yet. So if we just go ahead and play this game right now, it actually looks quite decent. And uh, with a little bit of C sharp programming, we can actually make it work. So here's what we get we get a very nice controller and the movement is not the best but it could very well be improved we got some simple explosions and most importantly we got the weapon animations working so now what we're going to do is exit out and go ahead and download the other asset that we talked about so this one right here so i'm just gonna add it and here is our scene looking all nice and well so what we're going to do right now is since we don't have a player right here we just have a static scene what i am going to do is actually very simple what i'll do is first i'll go ahead and delete the camera now we have no cameras rendering and then what i'll do is i'll navigate into the asset that we got earlier and go into prefabs and just drag this and drop it into our scene okay so there we go now we have a camera rendering and we have our player so this is how the actual player looks like if you ever played counter-strike this is how it looks like in there as well the only difference in there is that it actually has some models of the character and in here we don't have we only have the the hands so let's hit play and let's see if it actually works. Okay, as we can see, it works. And we can just build our game around this. So what do we want to do in this game is actually up to you in the comments if you actually want me to continue this game. I actually like it, it looks very nice. Maybe it has a little bit too much of a wobble, the weapon. But otherwise, it looks quite decent. We can improve the, uh, the the graphics a little bit. And yeah, I've been wanting to make a FPS game for a, a very long time right now. And this is the perfect opportunity to do that. So if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And hopefully we'll be back very shortly with another video. And as we can see, we are walking on air. I think I'm Jesus, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. I just landed. So, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll be back. 
make sure to comment down below what we want to add into this game. 